everyone. In this video, we are going to see applications of trigonometry. This is one of the most easiest chapter, but students tend to forget or find difficulty in order to understand. So I am here to help you. This you know, this problem and this unit mainly deals with uh, the trigonometric ratios sine, tan, cos. And uh, how those sine theta, cos theta, tan theta are used in real life applications, such as finding the height of a tower or finding the height of a building, or as uh, we can say the length of the rope, etc. and etc. So let us move on to this chapter with small definitions first. First, we need to know some basic definitions. First one is angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation is nothing but, say, uh, you are standing in a particular place and you are raising your head and you are raising your head and seeing above. So, seeing above a particular object. So, your head is tend to make at this angle of theta. This angle is called angle of elevation. And next definition is line of sight. Line of sight is nothing but say for example you are in your home and you are seeing Burj Khalifa. So what you will do? You will raise your head and you will make an angle and this line of sight is nothing but from your eye to the top point of Burj Khalifa or to the top point of the building or half tower. That line drawn, that line drawn is called line of sight. And third one is angle of depression. For this, uh, I will say one real example. Consider you are standing. You are standing in a high place or in a very high region and then you will look down and you will look down. You will look down like this. You will look down like this to an object which is located at very far at the ground. So the angle of depression is from your eyesight to the object the angle which it makes it is called angle of depression. Hello everyone, uh, let us go to problems. Here we need to find the height of the pole. This is exercise 9.1 and first question, we need to find the height of the pole that is AB. They have given in the question that is the circus climbing a 20 meter long rope. So that is this hypotenuse is given as 20 meter and the angle made by is 30 degree. You can also refer the question for more clarity. So, here we need to find this height AB and they have given 20 meter with respect to 30 degree. So, I can term this as opposite and hypotenuse. And here we can use a sine formula as sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. So theta is given as 30 degree. So sine 30 degree is equal to the opposite is AB and the hypotenuse is given as 20 meter. So 20. And sine 30 degree value we know that it is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is equal to AB by 20. So we can cancel here itself 1 here 10. So AB is equal to 10 meter that is the height of the rope is 10 meter. Do subscribe our channel for next videos. Thank you. In this problem, they have asked to find the total height of the tower, total height of the tree from base 
to the top point and we have to consider the middle part has been bent so if middle part has been bent uh, like this so and this forms the hypotenuse when we draw a triangle consider this is broken by a stone so this part is broken and this is been bended and this bended and it has been formed as a hypotenuse so we will have this hypotenuse for finding the height we need to find this distance and then we have to find this distance so which forms the total height of the tree some a tree breaks down due to a stone uh, see there is a large amount of wind is flowing that is called storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground say for example we have a tree like this a to b is a tree okay and due to a storm uh, this tree is is broken from the c part so from c part the tree has broken and from c it touches the ground like this and it touches the ground like this so which will become like this so i have drawn this in here so this bro broken part from c to b it is in the ground now so now uh, this a b c is a right angle triangle okay so this a is the foot of the tower and c is the part where the tree gets broken and from that bro broken part it hits the ground okay and that i am mentioning it as b okay and they have given uh, the and it makes an angle 30 degree so i have mentioned angle 30 degree the distance between the foot of the tree that is here foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground so the top is touching the ground so so that part is 8 meter so this part is 8 meter okay and we have to find the height of the tree so for the height of the tree it, the tree is broken into two parts okay so one part is initially will be like this and the second part after getting broken down it will be like this okay so we need to find the height from this place to this place and i am naming it as x so height one i need to find and also we need to find from this portion where it gets broken down so broken down to initial top so i have named it as y so we need to find height 1 which is x and height 2 which is y so height 1 can be found easily So height 1 is nothing but the opposite side of this. So we have adjacent side here. So in trigonometric ratio for tan theta it is known tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. So the theta given is 30 degree. So tan 30 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent that is nothing but AC by adjacent 8 meter so tan 30 degree is nothing but 1 by root 3 so AC is nothing but root 3 by 8 so a sorry ac is nothing but 8 by root 3 that is height 1 height 1 
is 8 by root 3 meter. Okay. Now we need to find the height which is y. So this part has been transformed to this part. Okay. So this BC has now came like this. So this part is this which forms the hypotenuse of this right. In order to find the total height, we need to add 8 by root 3 and 16 by root 3. So, it is nothing but 8 by 16, 24. So, 24 by root 3. So, this denominator cannot be rational. So, we have to have a whole term. So, I am, I am multiplying and dividing by root 3. So, 24 by root 3 into multiply by root 3 and divide by root 3. So, it is root 3 into root 3. It is 3. So, 24 root 3 by 3. So, 1 3 is or 3 and 8 3 is of 24. So, the final answer is nothing but 8 into root 3 which is the final answer. So, the total height of the tree from top to bottom is 84 root 3. Sorry, 8 root 3. This problem, a contractor plans to install two slides. Two slides in the sense, uh, the thing which we play in parks. Uh, see, we will play in parks a sliding game like this. A sliding game we used to park, no, used to play, no, that is called slides. Okay, so uh, for the children below the age of five years, uh, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at the height of 1.5 meter. So they have given clearly mentioned height is 1.5 meter. So from this to height is exactly 1.5 meter and then inclined at 30 degree okay and it is inclined at 30 degree when we watch from ground it, it is 30 degree whereas for elder children the height is 3 meter and it is inclined at 60 degrees okay so in in this they have asked what should be the length of the slide so this distance they have asked me. this is the length okay so we have to measure this distance for children below five years and children below elder children okay so for sub first we need to draw a right angle triangle like this two right angle triangles i have drawn and i have mentioned the height 1.5 meter and the degree it is 30 and find the length here it is for elder children, 3 meter height, degree is 60 degree and we need to mention, measure the height. Okay. Um, see, if you look at this, we need to find in this triangle, we need to find the height pattern used. And also here we need to find the height pattern used. Okay. So, uh, they have given the opposite side we have given the opposite side so in trigonometric ratios we will have the ratio of uh, opposite and hypotenuse for sine theta yes for sine theta it is opposite by hypotenuse i am writing this sine theta because one value is given and the degree is given and we can find the other value by using all these things. So the degree is 30 degree for first case. So sine 30 is equal to the opposite height is 1.5. So it is 1.5 and the hypotenuse we need to find which I can say as AC. So, sine 30 degree, we know children, it is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is equal to 1.5 by AC. Okay. Now, uh, we can move this AC to this side and to this side. So, we will have AC is equal to 1.5 into 2, which is nothing but 3 meter. So, this answer is... 3 meter. So the length is 3 meter. So we have found 
for this AC as 3 meters. Now we can move into the elder children's height. So for elder children also the same logic we can use, the same sign data we can use because we need to find the hypotenuse and the opposite side which is height is given. So sign we can use the degree as 60 degree. So 60 sine 60 degree is equal to the opposite height is given as 3 meter and it is hypotenuse. Okay. So sine 60 degree is nothing but root 3 by 2 is equal to 3 and hypotenuse it is mentioned as df. So I can move df here, df is equal to 3 into 2 divided by root 3. So which is nothing but 6 by root 3. So it, uh, answers cannot be rational. So I am multiplying by root 3 and dividing by root 3. So, here root 3 into root 3 is nothing but 3. So, 6 into root 3 divided by 3. So, this 3 is 1 times and here 2 times. So, the answer is 2 root 3. So, df is equal to 2 into root 3. So, this length df is equal to 2 into root 3 and the unit they have given as meters.